Well, hey there, I'm Emma from mm, English, coming at you from my new house. Now, I know it kind of looks exactly the same as it was before back there, but I can assure you that what's happening on that side of the camera is not okay. <laughs> I spent the last couple of weeks packing and lifting and sorting and moving house always takes way longer than you think. I was a little disorganized last week, so I didn't make a new lesson for you and I'm sorry about that. But today I've got an awesome lesson for you to help you expand your vocabulary and learn new expressions, all using the verb look. Now I'm sure there's gonna be some familiar ones in there, but that's great because you'll get to review them and practice with me a little and make sure you're using these expressions accurately. And there will definitely be some new ones that will help you to build your vocabulary further. And it'll be interesting to see them used accurately in context as well. And as always, I've got a mini quiz at the end to help you practice, so stick around. We've got a lot of phrasal verbs and expressions to get through today, so make sure you've got a notebook handy where you can write down some of the new expressions and ways of using them. Watching and listening is great, but to make these words stick in your mind, practice using them yourself. Write some sentences down and be especially mindful of the prepositions and the words that are commonly used with look. This means that you're learning to use these expressions accurately and it'll help you to sound more natural as you use them in spoken English as well. Let's start with these useful structures right here. All right, take a close look at the options. We have look as if, look as though, and look like. All of them are used with a clause following. It looks as if it's gonna rain. It looks as though she's brought her kids. It looks like he'll arrive late again. So all of these expressions have the same meaning. We use them to make a statement about a likely result in the future. And it's based on information that we have, which means it's likely, it's a good assumption. But there is one little rule to take note of. If it's just a noun following look, you can't use as if or as though, you have to use like. It looks like rain. You can't say it looks as if rain because that sentence sounds a little unfinished. You could say it looks as if rain is coming. That's okay. But just to keep that in mind, if look is followed by a noun, you need to use like. And of course we can look like someone as well. And that means that they're similar in appearance. She looks like her mother. He doesn't look like his parents. And we also say that people look alike. They look alike. It has the same meaning. They really look alike. And as a noun, a lookalike is someone who has a really similar appearance to someone else. And it's especially if it's a, a famous person. Her mum is a Michelle Obama lookalike. Her mum looks like Michelle Obama. They really look alike. So all of these sentences have the same meaning, really similar meaning. You can express that idea in lots of different ways. Now you can give someone a look as well. And when we use look as a noun, we're usually using it with an adjective to describe the way that someone is looking at someone else. He gave me an angry look before he left the building. I know that look. That look means you don't want to be part of that conversation. You're annoyed. We also often hear a dirty look and that's to look at someone in a bad way, like in a really negative way. I was late for my sister's birthday and I knew she was annoyed at me because she gave me such a dirty look across the room. That was my best dirty look. 
When we think about or we talk about the past, then we can use look back on something, an event or a time or an experience in the past. I try to look back on the mistakes I made in the past and learn from them. We look after people, you know, we take care of them. I offered to look after my sister's kids on Thursday night. Who's going to look after your dog while you're away? Do you look after anyone or does someone look after you? See if you can make a sentence using that phrasal verb down below. To look down on someone is to have a low opinion of them or to think that you're better than them in some way. It's really common for people who value university education to look down on those who don't have a degree. Can you think of other times in your life or around you in your community where people look down on each other? See if you can write a sentence about that down below. We look for things, right? You know, when we lose something and we're trying to find it. Now, of course, we always need to use a noun that follows this phrasal verb, right? To explain what it is we're looking for. I'm looking for my keys. I can't find them anywhere. Of course, we look forward to something happening, right? We are waiting for something to happen and feeling really excited or really pleased about it. Lots of you know that I love the warm weather and I usually complain about our relatively mild winter here in Australia. But as you can imagine, we are just coming out of winter and heading into summer now and I am very excited about it. I'm looking forward to summer. I'm also looking forward to seeing my family again. I haven't seen them all year thanks to COVID and the lockdown and all of that stuff. I'm sure you probably have something that you're really looking forward to doing, right? Let me know down in the comments. We look around or we look round and that's when we visit a place and see what's there. Before I book the venue, I'd like to come and look around if that's okay, just to make sure that it's suitable. Mm, look out. To look out. We use it as an exclamation to tell someone to be careful. That's a really common use. We say, look out. You're about to knock the glass off the bench. Look out, look out. Now I want to highlight a really neat little pronunciation tip here, one that is useful for learning hundreds of English phrasal verbs because this pronunciation pattern is really, really common. Often native speakers link the consonant at the end of one word to the following word if it starts with a vowel. So instead of releasing the k after look, we combine it together with the owl vowel sound at the start of out. Look out, look out, look out, look out. This little pronunciation tip is going to help you to sound more natural and relaxed as you speak in English. And I go into this in lots more detail in a series of videos about linking in English pronunciation. Linking and natural pronunciation, find it up here. We look out for people. Can you hear that? Look out, look out. Look out for someone, it means to take care of them and make sure that they're okay. My nephews are always looking out for each other at school. It is so sweet. Now, a phrasal verb that has a very similar sentiment is to look in on someone. And that means to visit someone to check that everything is okay. So it's a little different to look out for, to take care of someone. It means to specifically stop by their house or visit them somewhere to make sure that they're okay. I'll stop by the hospital after work to look in on my grandma and make sure she's eaten. You might already know the phrasal verb look up. Are you already thinking of a few different phrasal verbs that use look up? When we look something up, usually we're trying to find out some information, right? Or we use a dictionary or Google 
or YouTube to find the right answer or the truth, right? If you don't know a word, you look it up in the dictionary. Now, look up is a separable phrasal verb, and that means that we can insert the object into the phrasal verb, or we can have it follow. So we can say, look up the word, or look the word up. Both of them are okay, it's possible. Now, we can also say that a situation is looking up. If a situation is looking up, it's getting better and it's most often used in the continuous form, just like this. But not always, you can also say, um, now that I've got a job again, things are starting to look up. Okay, the situation is becoming more positive. Now, unlike the previous use of the phrasal verb look up, this is inseparable. We can't say that we are looking up the situation, that doesn't make sense, it's the wrong meaning of this phrasal verb, but we can say the situation is looking up if we mean it's starting to look more positive. Now, if we keep thinking about look up, then I can say that I look up to someone, right? I respect them, I wanna be like them. I really look up to my boss, I guess you could say that she's my mentor. Now, this phrasal verb is also inseparable. The object always follows the phrasal verb. Who do you look up to? Is there someone in your life that you respect and you admire? Write about it in the comments below. To look into something is to investigate it. And this phrasal verb is quite useful to use in a professional context. If a colleague says, we sent out the invitations last week, but no one's responded. Do you think there's a problem with the website? Hmm, that's odd. Maybe. I'll look into it and report back after lunch. Another great phrasal verb to use in a work context is to look over something. And this means to examine it, but usually quickly, you know, probably not going into a whole heap of detail. I'll look over the report tonight and let you know if I want to add anything. We can look through something. Now, of course, we have the more literal meaning of look through, but like look over, it's also used when we examine something, especially to find the information that you need. I can spend hours looking through recipes, getting inspiration for dinner each night. We can look to someone, and we use this when we expect to get help or advice from them. She looked to me for the answer, but I didn't know. If I ever feel unsure, I look to my friends for advice. And last, but definitely not least, we have the expression to have good looks. And that means that someone is attractive, right? We use the verb have or has and the noun good looks. She has good looks, she's got an awesome job, recognition in the industry, a gorgeous family. I'm not trying to compare myself to her at all. We can also say that someone is good looking using the adjective form as well. He's a really good looking guy. Okay, it's time for a mini quiz. I've got six questions and you'll need to choose the correct expression to complete the sentence the right way. So make sure you're paying attention to the words around the expression in each sentence. They're gonna give you some clues. But my best advice is to go with your gut and see how many you get right. He has, but he's not very intelligent. He has good looks, but he's not very intelligent. We spent hours, her record collection. We spent hours looking through her record collection. I can't get my laptop to connect to the projector. Can you, for me? I can't get my laptop to connect to the projector.
Can you look into it for me? John has been unemployed since April, but he finally got a job at a local factory, so things are... John has been unemployed since April, but he finally got offered a job at a local factory, so things are looking up. My friend Sarah doesn't have any family living nearby, so I always... Her. My friend Sarah doesn't have any family living nearby, so I always look out for her. It, it's going to rain. It looks as though it's going to rain. Now, this is a trick question. <laughs> it can't be look like because the verb doesn't match the subject. I was just testing. How did you go? Let me know if you've got any questions about these expressions down in the comments below and take the opportunity to practice a little right now. Hit pause just for a few seconds and write a couple of sentences, especially to practice the new expressions that you learned. Make sure you add your sentences down into the comments. I'm going to spend some time this weekend checking them for you. And if you can think of any more phrasal verbs or expressions with look, then let me know in the comments too. If you love building vocabulary and learning collocations, then definitely check out one of these two lessons right here. I will see you in there.